Hi Tarot Tribe, it's Ethany and I have another deck for you. Uh, I have got the Heal Yourself reading cards. Uh, this is by Rockpool Publishing and is by Inner Seagal. A gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous box. So I'm going to open it up because so, there's a, quite a lot of glare when you've got the, the uh, plastic wrapping on it. So like with all Rockpool Publishing decks, this uh, has a beautiful magnet box. It's hardcover, so it's going to protect your cards. It's so pretty. And I, I really, or I already like the artwork. It's quite gorgeous. I haven't seen any of it because I don't like to, um, don't like to look too much at decks before I have a chance to do these unboxings and first impressions because then it wouldn't really be first impressions. Um, another thing about Rockpool, if this is the first video of mine of Rockpool's decks that you are watching, is that they have beautiful books that are, oh look at that, and I flick it open to the beauty card, <laughs> which is the cover piece. Um, they have beautiful books that are full coloured. Oh, there's an action for each one of these. Oh, I'm liking that. So let's have a look at the beginning of the book. It has, I like the dedication to moving humanity forward. Amen. Introduction, then how to use the cards, one card reading, three or four card reading. So she's got the past, present, future, but there's also a fourth one if you like a clarification, which is the overall message. Sometimes I pull a clarifier for, for a three card, but I like that she's included that as like an option which is pretty cool. Um, and then pendulums, jumping card, repeating messages, energy reading, future readings, choice. And then we go straight into the card meanings. And I'm going to pull a card um, like I normally do. Uh, and there's even a little area for notes. I never write in the back. Like if there's a notes section, I never write in the back. I appreciate that they've given us a space, but I've just never been one to do that I don't know if anybody else is 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 the same way but I I don't so we're going to jump to the other camera now and uh, take a look through this beautiful deck okay so now we're going to go through um, each one of the cards for the heal yourself reading cards by Ina Segal and I will do a quick reading at the end. So it does come with one of these inserts, which I usually take out just so it's easier to get the um, the cards. But I do understand why the um, printers and production company and the, and the publishers do put them in there. It's just so they don't get knocked around during um, transportation. So same if anyone hasn't received or hasn't worked with uh, Rockpool Publishing cards before. They are a larger formatted um, oracle deck. Um, it's not too shiny. Um, they're not gilded, but they are rounded edges. And the boxing and everything is, is really, really lovely. So let's jump into the cards. The first one is selling out. I'm going to try and see if I do it that way, then you can't really see the artwork. So I'm going to try and make sure that you can see. Damn, she looks like she ate a bird. Self-sabotage. And then dreams. Sexuality. I like that the um, the selling out and the self sabotage is something I haven't seen in a lot of decks. That's a really cool um, and, and kind of a new addition. Sadness. So it does look like there is a lot of um, 
you know, there are, this person in this deck doesn't shy away from the shadow side of healing, which I like and appreciate cycles because because I um I believe that healing needs to be on all levels and not just you know you can't shove down and ignore the hard stuff pride <laughs> this could be my card <laughs> procrastination I do it tomorrow <laughs> How teachable are you? I had a really good manager and um, I know this might be really cliche, but they didn't use the word teachable. How teachable are you? They said, how coachable are you? And I liked that. So, But still like in the same vein of like, are you willing to be coached or learn new things and come out of your comfort zone and try? Pay attention to signs. Least you get lost in the woods, my child. I would be tripping ball scared if I was lost in that in those woods. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, take off your mask. So more than one. It's true because I feel that you know that we can wear different masks in different areas of our lives. Victim consciousness, Ooh, quite a confronting card, I guess, would be for a lot of people, but I love it. And that raven being like a smoke, like all those creatures in that are in the smoke. It's like all those made up baddies that, you know, can, can uh, ruin our lives. Rejection. Soulmate. Wild. Wild. In a child. Beauty. Say what you mean. Ooh, what the world would be like if we all said what we mean. Be very interesting. <laughs> Temptation. Family and tribe. Healing. Have faith. Patience. Self-love. Alchemy. Letting go. Help from above. Love. Discover your life purpose. Courage, unleash your creativity, Phoenix Rising, Sexual Art. Entrapment, home,
and hole in the sole. Okay, it's very grim. I do, um, I do think and I do feel from this deck that the art was, you know, um, uh, the profile is uh, was taken from a, an artist, whoever the artist is, um, from like their their website. You know, like they already had. Okay, so it's Chris Ortega, um, you know, and made into a made into a deck because it, it just it sort of does feel like that with some of the the artworks. Um, you know that that has been the case rather than them being like specifically designed um, for that um, they are obviously like if you we've gone through the art I, they're obviously very kind of overtly romantic um, images you know that like so it, either that's going to appeal to you or they're not like the artwork I feel is really beautiful um, I'm going to have to see how it reads for me uh, because it does feel as though they were taken from a from that portfolio and turned into a, a deck and that's not um, if you've been watching my channel for any limited you know any amount of time that's not uncommon um, it's done a lot so they shuffle I riffle shuffle so I don't have a problem, I mean I just shuffle like this, I've got pretty small hands for larger cards so it doesn't really bother me at all. Um, these are, like I said, they're beautiful cards, either you're going to resonate like anything, either you're going to resonate with the, the artwork or not. So I'm just going to do a quick draw, they do, uh, and uh, we'll see what kind of information we get in the guidebook. I do love how they fan. These cards fan so nicely. Phoenix Rising, so that's 32. Okay, so in the guidebook we have the full colour, full page art. And then we've got everything in your life is falling apart in order for you to rise from the ashes with renewed strengths. Don't feel as though that's happening with my life. Um, <laughs> and then it's got, uh, but it's not a time to create, but to sweep everything that is not working for you in your life. Okay, that makes sense, like to anyone really. The reasons, walking through the fires, and then you've got an action here. So, like writing what you're afraid to let go of. Um, so, that's really cool that there's an action there as well. So, it looks like for each card you get. Um, a little bit of information and then an action. So I do like that it's action orientated, um, that there is actually a step forward with helping your healing process. Um, and then, as I mentioned before, we've got what is in the beginning here. Um, so I'm going to have to do some some readings with this and see how it works works for me um, and what clients I'm called to working with them. But they are very beautiful and the production quality uh, from Rockpool Publishing is stunning. So thank you as always for watching and um, I hope you enjoyed the video.